Ciao guys, in this video I'll show you how to build an autonomous pump to get your model ship to safety in the case of a major leak in the hull. To build an autonomous bilge pump for RC model ship I used different components. A set of colored jumper cables, a relay, the Arduino Pro Mini plus its a USB adapter, a water sensor, a battery pack and the standard black and red cables. Of course, you'll need the pump, but don't make the same mistake I did. The pump you're going to need is a peristaltic pump like this one. Don't buy a submersible pump. You can find all the link you need in the description below. First of all, you'll need to download the Arduino software directly from the official website. You can find the link in the description below for rapid access. Once you downloaded it, you can install it by following the documentation. It's pretty simple. It will ask you to install the firmware as well, so go for it. Let's start with the Arduino Pro Mini. The top pins of the Arduino and the USB adapter that look forward, basically, need to be connected together. Once you've done that, you can attach them to your USB. You can run a few tests if you want to see if the device is working by using the Arduino Blink code. So it's time to write down the code and correct eventual errors that might occur. Here in the video you'll see I will be correcting a few mistakes. You can skip this part if you want and just unload the correct code I posted in the description of this video. Then we will upload the code into Arduino. To make it simple, we are going to tell the Arduino when it should activate the pump and when it should switch it off. I set the sensor to activate when the value is greater or equal to 350. So whenever it reads that number, it activates the pump. You can play with this value to make the sensor more or less sensitive. Once the code is verified and uploaded, we just need to make the connections. In this picture you can find the schematics that will help you with that. This is basically the circuit that activates the pump when the water sensor detects water. The schematic for the engine, the servo and main battery are not displayed here, but you can find it in my video on the 6 basic electronics you need to motorize your RC model ship. We can test out the peristaltic pump. It seems to work fine, it will be enough to get the ship back to safety in case of major leaks. So the next step was to think of a way to make the water flow out of the boat. As I didn't want to make major changes to the design of the model, I thought I could use the exhausting pipe of the capstan to make the water flow out. The position of the capstan in this case was in the perfect spot for that. Remember, this is a safety measure for uncommon situations, so it doesn't need to be realistic in a way. Still, you can always find another way to make the water flow out. You can even consider activate the pump remotely, just like I did for the searchlight uh, of this model in a previous video. I'll leave you the link in the description below and in the up right corner of this video. So now I leave you to the capstan construction and the pump connection. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support me. You can now also become a member of the channel to access premium content or you can also give me a super thanks to support me by clicking the super thanks button below this video. Thank you very much, if you like the video leave a like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.